mansions are something we still do not have in GTA Online. But what is the next best thing? Apartments. Throughout the rest of this video, I will be showing you the 10 best apartments in the game. Keep in mind, some of them are very expensive and not much will change apart from maybe the interior if you are lucky. And for the 10th spot, we have the 4401 Procopio Drive. The price of this apartment will be $165,000 and the quality of it is medium end. This will be the only medium end apartment in this whole list. And honestly, I think it is probably the best medium end apartment. Just looking at this apartment from the outside, it honestly looks like a whole house. Essentially, it really is. Now, the reason I really like this apartment is, first of all, because it is just on the other side of the map, which means it can be quite useful for setting your spawn location over here. I would always recommend having at least one apartment or something on the other side of the map, or at least in Sandy Shores. They can come in quite useful. And with this apartment only costing $165,000, it's honestly not too bad. This apartment will also come with an additional garage, this garage will only be a six car garage, but honestly, that's not too bad either, especially for the price of just the $165,000. I would definitely say this is worth it. And just before we move over to the number nine spot, if you guys want to get this apartment for yourself, you can find it over here on the map. Unfortunately, because I already earned this, I cannot actually show you on the website, but this is where it is located. And now guys, moving over to the number nine spot, we have the Del Perro Heights Apartment 7. I believe this is the cheapest and first high-end apartment with a price of $200,000. Now just keep in mind the number 10 spot was a medium-end apartment and that cost $165,000 so just for a little bit more money you guys can get this apartment. You will be able to run heists from here due to it being a high-end apartment and you will also have a 10-car garage instead of a 6-car garage. Let me also just tell you guys the location for this apartment is honestly really good. Just across the road is also an office space. I believe this is the free office so altogether i definitely think this is a great apartment especially if you guys are just starting off for only two hundred thousand dollars i would definitely say this is such a steal every time i start a new gta online character this specific apartment is always the one i try and get just based off the value and the fact it is a high-end apartment which means we can do heists altogether just a great apartment but this now brings us to our number eight spot and this will be the free alter street tower now the price of this apartment will just be a little bit more than the number 9 spot at $223,000. The only main difference with this apartment will be its location. The Alter Street Tower apartments are just central in the city, which honestly is super useful for different vehicles. Say if you guys are in a GTA Online session and maybe someone is chasing you, you could probably put a Night Shark in this apartment. And because it is at the center of the city, it can be pretty accessible. Now, there really isn't much else to say about these apartments. Once again, they just have the similar interior, the exact same garages. The only thing right now that changes is the location. And with this apartment specifically, I would definitely say that this location matters the most. But moving on again, guys, this now brings us to our number seven spot. And for the number seven spot, we have the 2113 Mad Wayne Thunder Drive. Now this apartment will cost you $449,000, which honestly is such an increase from the last apartment in this list, almost double. And just looking at this apartment from the outside, you would probably think, why is this even in the list? If I was going to rate the outside of this apartment out of 10, I would probably give it a 2. It looks like something that you would find in Sandy Shores or something. But what makes this apartment really unique is, of course, the inside. Now, unlike all of the other apartments so far, the interior of this apartment specifically is one of the new and updated stilt apartments. And as you guys can see, when I'm just running around the apartment, it honestly looks really cool. Now, the main downside with these type of stilt apartments is that once again, they suffer from the other apartments with that Rockstar just seems to copy and paste all of these things. So this might look good for your first apartment, for example. But if you guys buy another stilt apartment, you might only see a couple of different colors and that is really it. But overall, these apartments are very nice. Definitely really cool. And for $448,000, I would probably say it is worth it. And now guys, moving over to the number six spot. I went for something that is super nostalgic and this apartment will be the Eclipse Towers Apartment 3. Now this will be the infamous $500,000 apartment. Back in the early days of GTA Online, pretty much everyone wanted to get this apartment. It was by far the best one and of course the most expensive. Nowadays in GTA Online though, we do have a bunch of different apartments and this is now not the most expensive, but nostalgia wise, it is by far one of the best. 
The interior of this apartment is just similar to all of the other apartments. There is nothing really special or unique about it. And this really comes down to the location, which is essentially what you guys will be paying for. But now guys, moving over to another expensive apartment. For the number five spot, we have the 2868 Hillcrest Avenue apartment. The price of this apartment will cost you $672,000. So it's just nearly $200,000 more than the Eclipse Towers apartment. Now, like one of the other apartments in this list already, this will be a stilt apartment. So you guys can expect some pretty similar interior. Honestly, I do not mind it. The stilt apartments are always pretty good. And the location for this apartment specifically is over here on the map. Just like this fifth spot, we also have the same type of apartment for the fourth spot. This will also be a stilt apartment. And funnily enough, this is just down the road from the other apartment. This will be the 2862 Hillcrest Avenue apartment. Now this apartment will cost just a little bit more at $705,000. Honestly, not much has really changed with this apartment compared to the last one. Obviously, the interior and the garage will be the exact same. The location is pretty much the same as well. But the main reason I think this one is higher than the last apartment is because of how it looks on the outside. I just think it looks so much better. It actually looks like a full on house instead of just a normal apartment. But this now brings us to our number three spot. And this apartment will be called the 2045 North Conquer Avenue. This apartment will only cost just an extra $20,000 more than the last apartment at $727,000. Now, like many of the other apartments already, this will also be a stilt sort of apartment. So don't expect to see much difference on the inside or even the garage. If anything, the location of this is just a little bit different and the outside of this apartment honestly looks really good. I would definitely say this is one of my personal favorites on just how it looks. Once again, this doesn't even look like an apartment or at least how you would imagine an apartment apartment to look like. You guys can find this apartment over here on the map. It's not too far away from the whole city and it is also quite close to the casino which I really like. Altogether one of my favourites and I would easily put this even first or second. I definitely think that the top three could easily be moved around. It really all comes down to your personal preference. And now moving over to the number two spot we have the 3655 Wild Earths Drive. Now I believe this apartment will be the most expensive stilt apartment with a price of $800,000. This apartment has a very similar style to the last one. You guys can see you sort of have this round entrance. Honestly, I really like this one. And another thing to note about this apartment specifically is that this apartment is just at the bottom of Franklin's Road. Franklin's house is just up the street, so it is actually pretty cool. Now, once again, there is not really much to go on inside of this apartment. It is really just a copy and paste type of thing again, which might be a shame for some of you guys. But I personally really like the location of this apartment and just how it looks on the outside again if anything they are pretty much deciding factors for me but now guys this brings us to our number one spot and this of course will be the eclipse towers penthouse suite three there is also two more eclipse tower penthouse suites now personally i think the number three suite is the best i believe it does cost the most money at 1.1 million dollars now the reason this is the number one spot is just to do with how you guys can actually customize it unlike every other apartment in the game you can actually just purchase some different looks for the apartment through your interaction menu. This will also cost a lot of money. You guys can see pretty much everything is over $250,000 but with how much this will change our apartment's look and really make it stand out I think this is worth it. It's a shame we don't have this for every other apartment in the game. With this feature you guys can really make your apartment look like your own. You have eight options altogether to choose from and this is really cool. The only thing that this really lacks is the garage customization. If you guys do earn that new garage you guys will know that you can actually just customize that. Now unfortunately you guys will not be able to do this with any apartments in the game which is definitely a shame as well if we had this customization with just all the apartments and garages i think that would be so good but anyways guys that was my top 10 apartments in gta online now i could have definitely had some more high-end apartments in or at least switch some of them out but for the most part i really like these stilt apartments and you guys have probably noticed throughout the rest of this list that i did include a lot of these stilt apartments altogether but if you guys have any apartments that you think i missed out in this list make sure that you leave a comment down below and let me know and if you went on to enjoy this video or found it useful in any way shape or form make sure to leave a like i really appreciate your support and if you are new here subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video finally guys stay safe thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one